Ecological Human Progress, One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 221. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, I'm Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 220, June 18th, 2017 edition. What I'm going to be covering today, our topic today, is ecological human progress, which you would think would make sense to really be the only form of human progress, wouldn't it? I mean, if you're not being ecological in your human progress, doesn't that mean that you're working against our environment and specifically damaging the ecology of our planet? Yes, it does. So our goal as an organization, as a nonprofit, 100% volunteer, non-governmental organization, is to create a model specifically designed to support and facilitate ecological human progress. Designed with a consciousness for the highest good of all humanity and all life on this planet, and the idea that we have come to the point in history. And everything that you see happening in the background here is our process. This is what we're creating. We're creating open source blueprints, tools, tutorials, and resources because we believe that we've come to the point in history where we have the technology, we have the know-how, and we have enough people with the will that we can create a world that works for everybody. We can design a model for ecological human progress that people will get excited about for selfish reasons. We no longer have to do this for humanitarian reasons or philanthropic reasons. There no longer has to be a process of just the do-gooders and the people that are willing to make huge sacrifice to create an ecological future for us all. We believe that we've gotten to the point where we can demonstrate a model that will provide a way of living that is actually better than the way that people are living right now that is better than the non-ecological way that people are living right now. Built on sustainable infrastructure and combining emotional sustainability with physical sustainability to demonstrate a way of life that people will prefer to the way that they're living right now. And we believe that if we can make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate this way of living as attractive enough, then the idea will spread on its own. And what you see here happening on your screen as I'm saying this will just be the beginning. Human ingenuity will do the rest. Human ingenuity will take over and create even better versions of what it is that we're doing. We just want to demonstrate all of these models, the earth bag, the straw bale, the shipping container, all these uh, sustainable models, building with recycled materials, cob, compressed earth block, all of these things designed so we can demonstrate that, hey, this is a great way to build a house, but it's also a way that you could build a hotel. It's a way that you could build a complete village. And we believe that if we take this, once again, if we take this foundation of physical sustainability, which is food, energy, and housing, and we combine it with the fulfilled living models, the emotional sustainability components, which we've identified as highest good economics, the fulfilled living models, as well as the true earth stewardship, education models also, put these things together, it will save people money. It will provide a better education, a better way of living than they're living right now, and an environment that is more enriching and enjoyable than how they're living right now. A place where people with common values or families, friends, can come together and create a way of living that is not just ecological, just truly sustainable, supports its environment, and stewards its environment for those that are willing to take the time to do that and see the value and the logic of taking care of their environment and improving their complete environment. Why build a park when we could manage thousands of acres? and create thriving ecosystems, building habitat, integrating in with those environments, building sustainably, but also creating food forests, creating food generating forests that produce so much food and are so and and can be and are so effective in what it is that they do that they would have to be cut out and destroyed to remove them that are self-sustaining to create homes that will last for hundreds of years built on sustainable infrastructure to create energy infrastructure that you don't have to pay for that actually produces more energy than you need that you can sell back to the grid to produce food that's grown without pesticides, herbicides, or any other type of poison. These things make sense. 
And so our goal is to make it easy enough, affordable enough, demonstrates attractive enough, and to create the ultimate expression of all of this, which is a teacher demonstration community, village, city, or hub, the first of which is one community, and to invite people to participate. To invite people to come and visit who don't want to participate on the level of helping to build or that aren't necessarily sure what it is that have never stayed in a cob home or an earth bag home or a shipping container home and want to have that experience before they even really think about doing something like that for themselves. And if they like what they see, then they can replicate that for themselves as their own home. If they like what they experience, the complete model of one community, the fulfilled living practices, the education model, the true earth stewardship, if they like that, then maybe they'd be interested in creating a complete teacher demonstration community, village, city, or hub too. And the more of these that are created, the more we can demonstrate is easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough that the idea will spread on its own and teaching people that if they want to run something like this as an ecotourism destination, it can provide enough revenue so that they never have to work a traditional job again. So that their very way of life, their very lifestyle becomes the commodity that they are sharing with other people. If we can do that, we can spread this model around the world and create a world that truly works for everybody within our lifetime. And this is one community's ultimate expression of ecological human progress. If we can create a planet that truly works for everybody, our species will have, arguably for the first time in its history, created an ecological relationship with our environment. And we will step into the role of being true earth stewardships and taking care of this planet and creating a world that we truly know is possible that meets the needs of everybody on the planet, provides energy infrastructure where it's needed, addresses all the foundations of war and poverty and homelessness, solving those problems for all of us and creating a world that benefits all of us, all life on this planet. This is what one community is doing. So with that said, let's take this idea of ecological human progress and let's talk about one week of our team's progress and accomplishments. We are 100% volunteer, non-governmental non organization, nonprofit organization, and now I'm gonna share with you one week of our all volunteer, all volunteer team's progress and accomplishments. So let's jump into that. Here they are. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is Affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team, which includes the Pioneer members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, created a new icon set and new open source portal section on the Tropical Atrium Open Source Hub. You can see the new icons and web content here. We also added new resource and advantages and disadvantages sections to the Earth Bag Village and Straw Bale Village open source hubs. And we explored adding a second floor fire code compliant window to the domes. Additionally, the core team revised the layout and floor plan for the compressed earth block village pod 4, as shown here. Working with the core team, Ashwin Patil, web developer, also finished version 2.0 of the new search engines for villages 3 through 7, and then we added those search engines to the related pages. Elena Thompson, mechanical engineer, completed her 18th week helping with the net zero communal bathroom designs. This week's focus was creating a second round of renders for the tutorial and outlining the new sections that will include these renders. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued helping us create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here is update 73 of Dean's work. This week's focus was beginning work on the renders for the central dining and presentation space. Hamilton Matika, AutoCAD and Revit drafter and designer, also finished his 45th week helping with the compressed earth block village design and render details. This week's focus was adding additional blue brick details to the labyrinth area and a new round of complete village test renders. Aparna Tandon, architect, continued her work on the compressed earth block village external elements. What you see here is her 27th week of work focusing on finishing Zone 7 and beginning the Zone 8 designs and visualizations, as shown here. And Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, continued helping with the updates to the Treehouse Village Pod 7 furniture and building textures. What you see here are fourth-generation renders of the kitchen, bathroom, and shower structures, library, playroom, and residential structures. 
One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team added the new search engine to the City Center Open Source Hub and finalized updating the formatting of that page to match the updated Earthbag Village and Strawville Village pages. The core team also finished creation of the table chair portion of the DIY pipe furniture tutorial page. You can see pictures of this work here. Ramya Vudi, electrical engineer, continued with her development of the PV solar microgrid tutorial behind the scenes. This week's focus was on the battery sizing and maintenance and control sections shown here. Shubham Agrawal, electrical engineer, also continued his work on the wind power tutorials developing behind the scenes. This week's focus was on the Industry Outlook, FAQ, Summary, and Resources section shown here. Aravin Vasudevan, BA in Mechanical Engineering, also continued his work on the City Center basement heating and cooling details. This week's focus was further research and starting development of the climate battery explanation and tutorial we'll be adding to the City Center Heating and Cooling open source hub. You can see some of this work here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team created two new sections under bulk goods on the food self-sufficiency transition plan page, one section for grains and one for dried fruits, and added the images and procurement details that you see here. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. This week, the core team continued the process of a final proofreading and editing of all 52 lesson plans. This week, we completed the Happiness Lesson Plan and the Harmony Lesson Plan, which brings us to 28 of 52 finished, which is approximately 54% completion. Additionally, we continued working on the renders for the Ultimate Classroom Projection Dome feature. This included exploring different fisheye images with the projection tool and adjusting the lighting. This all led to creation of this retouched and final version. We also finished editing the introduction video that preceded this section and began research and behind the scenes work on the licensing and accreditation tutorial. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team completed another 25% of the final edits to the open source taxes and sustainable community building page. This brings us to 75% completion with that page. Jennifer Zhao, web designer, created and input the first round of images needed for the open source and replicable annual social media strategy. And Saumya Manahar, software engineer, web developer, and net application developer, and Jonah Lewis, software developer, completed their collective seventh week of work on the Highest Good Network. This week, they connected authentication in the front end of the application to the back end using a new token-based API system and continued development on editing users and time entry. Well, there you have it. This is what our team is doing to facilitate ecological human progress on a global scale. Everything that we've worked, with, worked on for the last week. And if you like this stuff, if you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all of our open source content, visit our website, visit our written blog, and you can look at the details of this specific update and every update prior to this. If you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com. We'll add you to our newsletter list. Also, you can follow us on social media. We are on all the different social media networks. Make it as easy as possible. Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Tumblr, Reddit, all of them, Pinterest. Uh, join us there wherever you like. Of course, YouTube. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you'd like to manage your updates that way. 
And last, but certainly not least, thank you. Thank you for watching to the end. Thank you for following our progress. Thank you for the donations that we get. We're 100% unpaid volunteer staff. So those small donations, the big donations, all the donations that we get, $5, $10, the occasional $100 donation, those really make a difference in helping covering our operating expenses as a global organization. So thank you for that. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the shares. And until next week, we will, of course, keep on. Keep it on. Thanks.